You're going to blow through the tube until you feel that your lungs are starting to become empty. Dr. Rennell Myers and her team are working on developing a test to detect COVID-19 using your breath. When you exhale, your breath actually contains over a thousand volatile organic compounds, and those represent the endpoints of different metabolic pathways in our body, and they can represent a state of health or a state of disease. Once they figure out which compounds signal COVID-19, they'll be able to program machines to spit out the test results in less than a minute. I think it's a game changer for the pandemic. Short of vaccinations, until we're globally vaccinated, we could set this up at the airport, we could set it up outside an arena for a hockey game. The group was initially researching breath for early diagnosis of lung cancer, but when the pandemic hit, they quickly switched gears. This is the camper where we are doing the testing out of. They head out to COVID testing sites to collect samples of people who are already there to get swapped for the virus. Most recently, they set out to Whistler, where the caseloads suddenly spiked. They run the samples through two different machines, including this state-of-the-art one and a more mobile one, similar to the ones used at airports to check for bomb or drug residue. All these little spikes will be different compounds. Like this go. one right here, there we go. All different compounds. So these are all the compounds of your breath. It's analyzing it currently. Once you've programmed it, you could tell this one big spike means I've got COVID exactly. or... The researchers say they've narrowed down the COVID fingerprint to five possible compounds, but they need to gather a few hundred more samples to be sure. It's research um, and it's challenging and a number of steps would have to fall into place before it hit prime time. But given the lightning speed in which innovation has moved throughout this pandemic, it's not out of the question, he says. The machines are super expensive. Um, that is an issue, but again, I think, you know, if, if it works, then there'll be competition to get the, the cost down. Breathing in potential to get this type of test running. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Vancouver.